Hey guys, it's One Wolf Girl 300, and I know I haven't been making a whole lot of videos, but I'm starting today! Yay! Um, so what I did recently was I took a bunch of clippings from my old house uh, of a pear tree and a persimmon and also one of our apricot trees at uh, my old house, which we have renters in right now, so it was okay for me to go over. I have a bunch of clippings, and I know it's really late in the season, but I'm gonna try and uh, convert my little uh, fish tank that I've been using, or that I used to use for the catfish and use it as a mini greenhouse. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to guide you through the mistakes that I'm going to make. Hopefully they won't all be mistakes and I hope I can get some trees out of this. It'd be really nice. Okay guys, it took me like super long to try and set up my camera because I am using my phone, so I apologize, except you guys didn't have to wait to do that. I did. It's just really difficult trying to make your phone sit on an angle. Anyways, um, these are our apricots that I have uh, picked off. These ones are our pears, and these ones are our persimmons. I had to get them really short because it was hard to find new growth on there. Now, I'm probably going to start with the apricots. Uh, and I forgot scissors. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have scissors. I did sterilize these just with rubbing alcohol. I, uh, I'm not sure if that's necessary, but I did it anyways. Also, I know that these aren't pruning uh, clippers. I don't really have any right now. My last pair got rusted because my shed was leaking. So I'm just using good, clean, sharp scissors that I have uh, doused in some rubbing alcohol. So the next thing is we have to make these about eight inches long and cut at a 45 degree angle. So let me just uh, grab a measuring tape now. <laughs> and I am back with an adorable little tiny measuring tape keychain included. Uh, I do have larger ones. This is just this is just the one I grabbed. So I just wanted to check and make sure that these were about eight inches and I'll just use this one as a, a guideline for the others. Obviously it doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm cutting it. So I hope you can see the uh, the 45 degree angle that I've cut on this. It's supposed to, uh, it probably helps because, oh look, a cat. You can't see her, you might be able to see her tail. Uh, it probably, because it exposes the most amount of, uh, like, surface area to work with because the roots will come out along the edge here. So uh, I won't make you look at me cut all of these. So uh, why don't we skip ahead for you. And I will see you when these are all cut. So uh, I also forgot to mention that I've been keeping these wrapped up in a uh, damp paper towel, especially on the walk back from our old house, just to uh, keep the ends moist. You probably don't want these drying out, or so I've heard. Uh, yeah. So another thing is uh, when you have a, uh, a branch like this, I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. I think I'm just going to cut it off. Uh, for now. It's probably an older branch. Some of these branches are uh, older than others because, you know, we've been kind of in a drought and there hasn't been a whole lot of growth in the past few years and these are really old trees from uh, my other house. So uh, I had limited choices. There wasn't, again, there wasn't a whole lot of new growth. So I, I picked what seemed the newest to me and I just wanted to get as many as I could because I was told, especially these pears, are uh, really hard to uh, root, apparently. And uh, I just wanted to have the highest chance of getting some success out of these, which is why I uh, cut off so many, and which is why they're not the best choices. Some are longer, some are really short, but I wanted to get this done. Okay, so I have cut all the pieces, and while I'm waiting, I'm going to just bundle these up. 
and in their moist paper towels and keep them up here. Uh, the next thing to do would be to get a flat surface, get some rooting hormone. Uh, this is a commercial, probably non-organic uh, rooting hormone. If you want an organic one, you can use uh, a fresh willow and you know you throw that in a blender, let it soak, and uh, it's supposed to really help the roots come out. But I do not have many willow trees around me, so I bought this. It has worked for me with tomatoes and stuff, but I have not tried it on these fruit trees. In fact, this is the first time I've tried to root fruit trees, and I realize a lot of people do it uh, in the fall as opposed to almost springtime here. So, um, so what I've done is I've laid the powder on something. You can use magazine, newspaper, whatever you want. And I'm going to take one of these, dip the tip in some water, just to make sure it's extra moist before, uh, before it goes into the dirt that I've made. And just go ahead and dip it in here and tap off the extra powder. I don't know that it really hurts or helps to keep on the extra powder, but if you can see that, I have coated the tip of it. Okay, so here's the old fish tank that I used to keep the catfish in. Uh, what I've put in here is basically one part sand and two parts peat moss. I also threw in maybe like one to two cups, maybe one and a half cups of perlite. And this is where I'm going to be placing the, uh, the branches. And I'll be covering these holes up here with uh, probably some saran wrap or some other clear material. And then what's gonna happen is I am going to, sorry about the shakiness, I am going to put them back under there and I'm going to, you know, open up the curtains and put, slide it under there and uh, the black part will, this will be facing the other direction. Hopefully it'll get plenty of sunlight and uh, it'll stay warm. We're gonna start a fire tonight and everything should stay relatively warm. Okay guys, so it's all planted out. We have our apricots, then our persimmons, and then our pears. I really hope everything goes well. We have some space for some more fruit plants, fruit trees, sorry. Um, I might be asking some other neighbors of mine if they have some plants that I could take clippings off of, which would be really cool. All I have to do now is seal up the top. Okay, so all I really did was cover the top with saran wrap, put a little tape on, and I did leave one of the holes open, just for a little ventilation. I didn't bother covering up these uh, tiny holes. And I will slide it back on in there, and hopefully we get some new fruit trees. I'm really hoping. Okay guys, thanks. That's it for this episode. I really appreciate the views. Um, if I have done anything wrong, please tell me because I am learning and I would really know, I would, <laughs> I would really love to know what I've done wrong because honestly, this is a huge learning experience for me and I am happy to share it with whoever is watching. I will try and keep the, um, the info for this video updated on if it's a fail, if it worked or not. Um, and I'll try and put out more videos too. Thanks again for watching. Bye.